this DD65 drum set, it's it's looks like a toy, something you'd buy for your teenage son, but because Yamaha was smart enough to put a MIDI output on it, I managed to use it to trigger the uh, software drums. And so between the combination, it's relatively cheap and uh, very effective. Uh, the, the sound quality... You can do some really impressive drumming on it, on the soundtrack, and nobody would know the difference with the DD65. And um, also in the corner of the software, you can choose from dozens of different drum sets throughout the ages. So I mean, the it opens up so many creative doors. It's just it blows my mind that the possibilities. It sounds like a real snare I'm impressed when you go to hook up the DD65 you'll need a sound card audio box there's several out there um, I have a M audio laying underneath it right here which I cleverly found a loophole for um, using studio one studio recording um, normally you can't record the Easy Drummer software directly into the Studio One without an upgrade to Pro, which is $350. Um, with the use of two sound cards, you can loop one sound card into the other one. And, um, I'll explain later, but, uh, you can, by looping the Two, you can actually get the Easy Drummer software to uh, record into your studio, Studio One Artist, which is the cheaper version. So I figured that out and um, saved myself some money. So lots of fun.